Ways to Soothe a Crying Baby Crying is how babies convey their needs. Most parents anticipate wiping tears on occasion once their child comes. What most people don't realize is that babies might complain for reasons that aren't always obvious to their parents. If your baby continues to cry despite being fed, burped, changed, and comforted, it's time to come up with some creative solutions to the problem. Finish this video for brilliant techniques to calm a crying infant that are all mom approved. Do the bounce. Rock your baby while repeatedly shushing in her ear. I bounced my unhappy kin all over the apartment, the street, and the city, Brooklyn resident Lily's Argami explains. While swinging her back and forth, I cooked and cleaned. Turn up the music. You don't have to stick to lullabies. Try a variety of genres and songs, including your favorites. Jennifer Rainey Marquez of Atlanta says, Vivian liked to chill out to see Lowe's forget you. Melanie Plava of Springfield, New Jersey, has a child who loved Black Sabbath's Iron Man. Plava explains, as soon as he heard it start to play, he would giggle. Play IT back. When my sons were babies, I would record them fussing and wailing on my phone and play it for them because the sound of a crying baby attracted them, recalls Jillian St. Charles of West Knoxville, Tennessee. Put out lights. Polly Blitzer Volkstein discovered that putting her twins in a completely dark room was the most efficient approach to calm them down when they were overstimulated. I draw down blackout shades and put them in their swings with a pacifier, and they'd be out like a light in about two minutes, the New York City mom adds. Make some noise. Turning on white noise is another trick that parents swear by. Use a fan or vacuum cleaner, a white noise machine, or an app to help you relax. Change the scenery. Jessica Watt of Smyrna, Georgia, 
claims her fussy infant could tell when she was worried. Going from the nursery to the patio or kitchen was sometimes enough to snap her out of the crying spell, she says. Get out of the house. Jeannie Kim of New York City was on maternity leave with her daughter when her husband had a job that needed him to be away from home from 5 a.m. to the wee hours of the morning just to stay sane, she recalls, she took four walks in one day. And the long strolls nearly always calm the baby down as well. Many new moms are concerned that hearing a crying baby in public may upset others, but it's better for you to get outdoors and get some fresh air. Soothe yourself first. Samantha Jacobs bought a pair of noise-canceling headphones for herself. If the sobbing becomes unbearable and I'm alone, she continues, I'll put my baby in her crib, then walk into my room and play just one song that I know will relax me and give me the patience I need. Make your baby laugh. Have something to look forward to while you tend to your baby if they cry at the same time every day. Anyone who is reeling from unpleasant feelings can benefit from laughter. Like, comment, and subscribe for more.